In this module, we'll cover full text index and search. So to begin, we'll discuss some full text use cases and provide a brief overview of how full text indexes are used. Then we'll cover how to create tables using the full text index. And of course, we'll also be discussing how to query full text data using handy tools like the match and highlight functions. So what is full text index and search? Well, let's consider a database with a table containing a column for large blocks of text, maybe storing the contents of articles, maybe user comments on posts or videos, or for this example, reviews for restaurants. Now we can create this table just fine, but by adding a full text index on the column storing the review text, Single store can search and return results based on keywords even faster. For example, let's say I wanted to search through this particular restaurant's reviews with a focus on whether or not I'll be standing in line too long. With a full text index, I can search for the word line and quickly see that this restaurant does have a tendency to have a long line, although it may be worth the wait. So in a sentence, Full text search allows searching for words or phrases in large bodies of text. So the index must be assigned to a column that is a text type. Full text indexes are also currently only supported on column store tables to maximize speed and efficiency. So as a search term is searched across all of the documents and matched, a relevancy score is calculated using a number of different factors frequency being one example. And much like a search engine, you can order by the relevancy score to review your results from the highest relevancy score at the top. And as a quick refresher on column store tables in single store, data is stored into row segments, which represent a logical set of rows in the column store index. Each row segment contains a column segment for every column in your table, which contains all of the values for that specific column in that specific row segment. A full text index is created and stored as a file on disk for each row segment when the segment is created. And it's essentially a dictionary of the search terms or words that exist within the stored documents. And as a new row segment is created, that index will be created also. The DDL for adding a full text index is simple. Here we see a statement that creates a column store table called articles. To add a full text index, simply use the full text keyword and provide the name of the column that you are needing to index. Remember, this column must be a text type column. You can create a full text index for multiple columns, and here we see both the body and title columns being indexed and the two columns can be searched independently. So here in Studio, let's create a table with a full text index. For our example, we'll create a table for some medical journals. So we'll call our table journals. We'll include some boilerplate columns like the volume, the name of the article, the journal name itself, and of course the body of the text, which we'll be adding a full text index to. And this will of course need to be a column store table. So let's make the volume, the clustered column store key. And now to add a full text index, simply use the full text keyword and supply the column you'll be wanting to index. In our case, the body column. And with that, our table is created.